Thank you very much, Mick. Let's just give him another round of applause. Well done. <laughs> Let me start today by um, acknowledging the Gadigal people, traditional custodians of the land uh, uh, on which we are meeting today, and pay my respects to their elders past and present. I extend that respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people here today as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Mick. You've given a, a, a good roundup and made my job easier. So I'll just stick to some of the highlights. I think we started, uh, uh, we, we started uh, the, the, the conference, uh, or at least our gathering on Friday when uh, the chamber hosted the inaugural Prime Minister's Golf Tournament. Uh, a very successful tournament from the perspective that $80,000 was raised and uh, we are going to donate that uh, to children's awards in both Goroka and Mount Hagen. We're going to work in conjunction uh, with the Rotary with the Rotary clubs and uh, uh, where is Mark? And, and I think our Prime Minister in March is going to come to a Rotary conference in, in Queensland and, and make the presentations there. And, and the um, and Rotary will uh, add to that, and then ensure that the uh, work with Rotary in Papua New Guinea to ensure delivery uh, of that. So, uh, congratulations uh, uh, to Sun Engineering who who, who won the event, um, uh, but importantly, importantly to all the teams and and companies that sponsored teams uh, to to make that a, a great event. And I think as we go into next year, this could uh, be a feature higher on, on our agendas. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as the Council uh, Senior Vice President, we've received favorable feedback about this uh, new venue, the ICC. A couple of years ago, I was part of the team that came and had a look at uh, this venue, and, and we eventually made the decision to come here. Um, I, th I think the large exhibition hall has provided an excellent venue for networking uh, while engaging uh, uh, around the very well set up uh, booths and displays and, and for that we're most grateful. The opening plenary on level five, uh, a very spacious and comfortable room, large screens enable the audience to feel very much part of the presentations and I felt uh, the ambience was, was quite engaging. Uh, so uh, I vindicated our decision uh, to come here. On Sunday, and that was an experiment to, to start uh, some of the sessions on, on Sunday afternoon, uh, we, uh, we had close to 800 uh, people that turned up in the audience, and I had the privilege of uh, making opening remarks, and I was pleasantly surprised with the large numbers that uh, turned up and stayed uh, the, the whole afternoon. Uh, very interesting and insightful presentations on the area of um, renewables and, and uh, clearly indicating to us that I think we'll have to grow uh, the space for that engagement and discussions. I think the only complaint uh, I certainly heard was that we had failed in the view of some of our colleagues to advertise this so they, uh, that they failed to fail to attend and people coming down from Port Moresby and to find out that uh, this has been quite a, a successful event. So some feedback pansy that we'll have to work on as, as we develop the program for, uh, for, uh, for 2024. Uh, on that point, ladies and gentlemen, the council in its meeting on Saturday made a decision that we would um, come here uh, week one of December. Uh, so put that in your diaries and we're committed to uh, commencing the uh, notices and advertisements in January as we progressively develop that. Uh, and then, uh, of course, we're going to welcome your comments and observations so we can make this an even better, better invent, event. It's a massive investment for our companies, our organizations, and uh, it's, it's our business to make sure uh, you, you get your value out of the investment you make uh, at this conference. On Monday, um, a renowned Australian uh, Tracy Spicer, uh, AM, and a Walkley award-winning journalist, uh, she was a consummate host and moderator. Uh, she brought a touch of class and dignity in hosting our day one sessions. 
and, and I saw that she made both speakers and the audience feel very special without taking away the limelight, a most skillful and notable professional performance by, by Tracy and, 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 and Peter, if we can just pass that and my compliments, our compliments to her as well. I think PNG Corps President Anthony Smyre offered a stirring call for action speech, inspiring the delegates to engage, learn, network, actively seek out opportunities, and get on the ride of the in imminent boom of our country. Uh, a boom that has the potential to transform uh, the economy of our country, but importantly, and I think this needs to be our focus, the better and improved standard of living for our people. Because if we fail in, uh, to do that, uh, I, we, we're really going to get that wrong again. As an executive of the chamber, it's, uh, you know, I'm so grateful that Prime Minister Honorable James Marape committed uh, uh, four full days to, uh, to us as an industry and us as a business community um, in all of the events and associated events. He was most gracious uh, with his time, engaging uh, intently with major investors and developers. Uh, I, I was on the, the boat cruise on Sunday, and uh, he gave some really great time to, to ve the various business leaders that were present. And, and I know, and I had good feedback that they really appreciated that. I think under Prime Minister's leadership, uh, his uh, most senior ministers were present, and they gave their time as well and commitment. And, and we're, uh, I, I noted uh, once again, we're available uh, for wider engagements. I'll name those who spoke, the ministers that spoke, but there were many others that were present as well. But uh, Mr. Ministers uh, Sir Anopala, uh, Ian Linstaki, Karunga Kua, William Duma, right up to today. Uh, many governors, uh, members of parliament were also present, in, including to this afternoon. And, and I think as, uh, as a business community, we, we mustn't underscore uh, the importance of their presence, and, and uh, I thank them on our behalf. I think Prime Minister's key message, and Mick, uh, I think you've, you've said that, and I want to uh, elaborate as much as you did, but I think his message was as well echoed uh, by his ministers, that encouragement to invest, whilst acknowledging challenges, emphasizing the range of uh, pending opportunities. And, and uh, once again, as Mick has pointed out, Prime Minister named um, some of the, the, the projects that are coming and, and the prospects. And he urged us as businesses, both international businesses and Papua New Guinea businesses, uh, to learn more about these opportunities and find a, our place within the large supply chain and ecosystem that the resource projects uh, offer to our respective businesses. Uh, I think this is important where the Prime Minister acknowledged that uh, Papua New Guinea is privileged to host uh, some of the largest corporations in the world, and he named ExxonMobil, and we thank Tara uh, Shandro for her presence right throughout. Total Energies, and my S represented by uh, my senior vice president, Toma Maurice, Newmont and Barrick, emphasizing their present illustrates strong confidence in Papua New Guinea as an investment destination. Prime Minister took time uh, both at dinner uh, on one-on-one -on -one meetings and acknowledged the presence of Mr. Tom Hammer, president and CEO of Newmont, plus Mr. Peter Sk uh, uh, Sickert of Harmony Gold. He was most grateful. He spoke of passing of the commitment uh, to put into immediate action uh, what they say. And, and uh, I, I think that uh, what, how Newmont has responded and the new entry into Papua New Guinea uh, gives all of us uh, tremendous confidence uh, of displaying that important value. Other global industry leaders, analysts, and thought leaders inspired the audience as they shared trends, direction, vision, discussed the uh, impacts of uh, the geopolitical uh, um, landscape, uh, and then presented their thoughts on the way forward. The conference was informed uh, of Pogera restart in, uh, later in December this year. Uh, most welcome news uh, uh, for not just the industry, but uh, the people of, of um, Enga and, and uh, the wider business community of Papua New Guinea. 
So uh, as, as Mick has alluded to, the Sydney conference is no longer just about mining and petroleum, mining and energy. It is a, at a, for, it is a forum for government, wider business and commerce, financiers and stakeholders to gather, share ideas, strategies and action plans, both in the plenary sessions, at the exhibitions, and making this a must-attend event where we all connect. Uh, so I think that we, we just need to really work that, and, and I'd appreciate, as I mentioned earlier, your feedback, your observations, uh, so we, we, we can enhance, uh, enhance our, our conference going forward. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, our hard-working team gave me actually 30 pages of notes, which I was very thankful for, um, uh, to read uh, and from which to get my, take my remarks. Uh, I'm not going to read the 30 pages, but what's important, Pansy, is I think there was a great summary, I like the actions that, uh, that the team picked up. So I ask that uh, if I can commit now, where we post this on the website, and I think it will really help a lot of our delegates, especially as they want to put their summaries together. I thought that was a, 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 good, uh, um, a good ad, but please place, paste it uh, in its form. And, and I think allow our delegates to, to pick what that, what's important for them and take, it, take that forward. The, I think the action items that, uh, where you quoted the various speakers was, was exceptional. Ladies and gentlemen, those who attended the gala dinner last night um, would agree with me that that was a spectacular event. I congratulate the winners of uh, the awards that we presented last night, but also the long list of people uh, and corporations that that uh, presented submissions. Uh, our panel of judges did, a, did some fantastic work to find um, and to select uh, the winners of that. And, and I think uh, it, it's, it really showcases um, uh, the, lot of the great work that a lot of us know that we do in the industry. But I think the awards give us an opportunity uh, where our colleagues showcase these opportunities, and we get to appreciate uh, what, what uh, the industry uh, brings to our country and our, the communities of our, of our country, plus of, obviously the environment. Um, the touch of PNG flavor at the entertainment was uh, special and um, got me up on the dance floor for the first time in my life, so I was quite happy about that. And, and my wife was dancing too, so happy wife means a happy life for Richard. Um, but to Janelle and Peter, who work, our event managers who work behind the scenes and give us advice and, and uh, give us some very, very professional advice. And in 2022, ladies and gentlemen, Anthony and I, uh, uh, we, we tended uh, our two event managers, the conference organizers, and uh, I think our decision to vin uh, to appoint Janelle's company and Peter's company was vindicated, as you saw today. Uh, them and their team uh, worked tirelessly behind, and we turned up, attend, and move out. Um, I also want to, uh, and Bob, if you could also pass to the um, ICC staff as well. Uh, really, really professional. Um, team, when I came here and looked at an, the hall where we've got our exhibition, uh, for normal people like me looking at an empty hall, it, it did look a little bit ugly. Um, but I knew that with the right people and uh, behind the scenes, we could make that uh, what, it, what uh, I think has been put on display since, since Sunday. And, and an exceptional um, venue for us to, to gather together. So please pass my uh, acknowledgments and thanks and praise uh, to all of those, Pete, that, that worked uh, tirelessly be behind the scenes. And now I move down, and, and this is m one of my more pleasant tasks, is to, th to do these thank yous as I've started. But to the conference committee, Mark McGonagall, uh, where are you, Mark? If you could just stand up and we could acknowledge you as the conference committee uh, chairman. Um, He's probably very, very, there he is in the background. Um, so Mark, um, Mark's assured me that he, his cards were correct on, uh, on, on the golf day. So well done to the big Irish clan that uh, won, uh, won, won that tournament. And uh, commiserations to Santos. We'll have to practice a little bit better, especially when you're going to invite the Prime Minister along, boys and girls, or maybe 
if you had girls playing golf, you would have won, perhaps. <laughs> but um, look, Mark, you, you've done a great you've done a great job working on 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 our behalf, and and I want to thank you, Pansy, uh, our C COO, and your fantastic team. This has been a a really big effort. So let's say thank you to Pansy and her team. They had to deliver uh, the Can Connects in the middle of the year, uh, hurriedly put together Hong Kong conference, and then this one. And um, it's a lot of sleepless nights, uh, a lot of hard work, and please pass to our team our most heart heartfelt um, uh, congratulations and thank you. Uh, as a Papua New Guinean, I stand before here very, very proud of of the team that you've put together. And when I see happy faces and people moving about, I, 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 I'm filled with pride as well and fueled uh, with inspiration from, from your team. Ladies and gentlemen, I also want to just, uh, at risk of uh, embarrassing Anthony Smyra, acknowledge this young Papua New Guinean leader. Let's give him a round of applause. Anthony has shown some great leadership, great innovation, and, and great strength of courage as he pulls together um, those of us from our council to, to take uh, this event forward. Uh, I remember we talked um, in a cab uh, a couple of years ago when we were down in Sydney looking at these venues of that he wanted to make a spectacular international class event. He wanted this to be an international class event, not just an event hosted by the PNG Chamber of Mines and Petroleum, as we were known at that time, in downtown Sydney. And I think uh, under Anthony's leadership, uh, we've achieved that uh, uh, this weekend, so uh, this week. So a round of applause to Anthony and everybody else involved. I think. It's so important that uh, we as Papua New Guineans work and believe and are convicted to the self-esteem that we have, not just as people, but as a country. I think we need to unshackle. I'd like us to look, I want to unshackle this term, land of the unexpected, which is patronizing and, and uh, self-defeating. Papua New Guinea is a land of opportunity. Papua New Guinea is a land whereby we have worked really hard, where leaders can sit down in, in, in honest engagement with business, with civil society, and the wider community. And I think we need to um, we, we need to just stay away from a little bit of the social media that continues to pull down our country, um, and we get infected by that. I think we need to keep that level of positivity. There's a lot of great things happening to our country. I think there's, and, and not only that, I, I think we owe it to the future generation. I talked about that in my own presentation, uh, where I was a bit cheeky, but I wanted to say to the leaders present, we need to take the perspective that I work for, in the case of the Papua LNG project, I work for the children of the Gulf province and the central province. I may, have, may know all the leaders, my respect, I may have gone to university with some of the leaders. I may know their families. They may know my families. But I don't work for those leaders, this crop of generation. And I say that respectfully. I work for the future generations. And if we take that generational perspective, I think we can be assured that we will make much, much better decisions on what is under our stewardship on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's change that narrative, uh, people. Let's change that narrative about our own country and about the future of our country. So as we depart the Sydney uh, ICC, I wish you all safe travels. I wish you Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year. And as I stand here too, I, uh, I think of uh, the, the people in North Queensland, and particularly for me, I have um, four granddaughters that are facing a bit of cyclone. And so I've a bit, been a bit preoccupied this afternoon as I'm trying to watch. With my destination after leaving here was to go to Cairns as well. So as we celebrate um, and, uh, the achievements that we've had, I think we think of others that uh, are just going through some tough times, both here in Australia and uh, 
well, in Queensland and, and also also in Adelaide, and, and we're thankful for the hospitality that we uh, uh, have received here in, in this great country of Australia. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Be safe. <laughs>